Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my OBS Studio settings. As I've been asked by a couple of people, what settings do I use when I record my videos? Well, to start off with, this is the layout I use for OBS. I like to have my preview screen here, but then I have OBS on my other monitor. But for this video, I'm actually going to disable the preview because it looks quite horrible on there because it's mirroring my screen. Now it's time to take a look at the settings I use. If we go to the top left hand corner of our screen and click on file, then settings, and go down to output and go to recording, these are all the settings I use. For the recording format, I use MP4, so that's the output file it will become. For the encoder, I use NVENC H.264, which is the NVIDIA encoder and for my scale output I use 1920 by 1080 which is the resolution of my monitor. For the rate control I use CBR and for the bit rate I am using 25,000 and then my preset is set to default, profile to main, level auto, use two pass encoding is ticked, GPU is on naught and B frames is on two. If we now go across to our audio, these are the settings I use for my audio. They are set to 160. If I just click on audio on the left side as well, and you can see all the settings there that I use. My sample rate is set to 48, and the channels is set to stereo. My desktop audio device is my speakers, which is my headset. And if we go across to video now, as you can see here, my base resolution is 1920 by 1080 Output is the same. Downscale, I've got it on 32 samples. And for the frames per second, I've got it on 60. And that is it for my OBS Studio settings. I do find the quantity is extremely good on these recording settings. So if you don't know what settings to use, definitely give these settings a try and see how well they come out. And the best thing about these settings, the videos do come out nice and clear on YouTube as well. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.